And one final closing thought here, which is how fast the technology is going. And this is both a danger and a massive opportunity. So anybody who is building infrastructure on where virtual reality headsets were just two years ago is already in the dark ages yep. compared to where it's now, where it is now and where it's going to be in two years' time. So the challenge there is if you're using these for, say, experiential learning or sort of allowing other people to share your experiences, how do you do this in an agile way where you can keep up with the technology rather than being locked into an old and outdated technology. Yeah, that's I think that's a critical piece to end yeah. on too because it is it's very fluid. So yes. going into this, you understand, right? Like mm -hmm. even these headsets as, as an example, they're expensive and they will be obsoleted, obsoleted, yes. made obsolete, <laughs> whatever. They will be out of date yeah. before soon, yes. before you probably feel like if you from a consumer perspective, before you feel like you got your thirty five hundred dollars worth. Right, right. You know? yes. But again, yeah. like I said, yeah. You can have the largest TV that's screen where in the world. Early adopters come in. That's right, exactly. <laughs> right. You, right, you're, you're a pat. We're pat. Like that that yeah. role is to be a pathfinder. That's um, right.